Hello, today I want to talk about a retailer that has been exploding. And if you have not heard of this retailer that also sells makeup yet, I promise you are going to very shortly here. And that is Timu. And Timu is actually the most downloaded free app right now, even though they only started in September of last year. So they have exploded so fast. And today I want to talk about why I'm a little bit weary of this brand and why I'm a little bit disappointed to see beauty content creators reviewing and promoting their makeup. So let's jump into it. I'm going to leave everything linked down below like I always do in my get ready with me is just because I don't know that I'm gonna be talking too much about the products, but I will be applying the Ilia foundation today. Timu is actually a brand that I first became familiar with because they email me every single day. And every friend that I have in this space that also makes videos on YouTube tells me the same thing. We all get emails from Timu every single day about doing a video. And Timu is an online retailer. And as I said there, pretty new, but they were actually started in September and they're growing so fast. So not only are they, like I said, number one most downloaded free app, but they also ran a Super Bowl ad this past year. We know how much Super Bowl ads cost, like, oh my goodness. And you might have seen it. Their slogan in the ad was shop like a billionaire. And that is because everything on their site is so unbelievably cheap that they are encouraging you to buy in excess buy so much product like shop like a billionaire as if money is no object because all of our products are so cheap you can just buy a ton over consume and when i say that their products are cheap i mean they are cheap oh my goodness so i was looking over products on the website for this video their makeup products, like truly, they make Shein look expensive. I was seeing eyeshadow palettes for less than $2. A lot of their makeup products are less than $1. And a lot of their makeup products are knockoffs of super popular products. So I was seeing like knockoffs of Charlotte Tilbury products on there that were so clearly intended to look identical to popular Charlotte Tilbury products, but I was even seeing knockoffs of very affordable brands already like Essence, like even cheaper versions of Essence products, but they don't just sell makeup. They sell pretty much anything. I was seeing musical instruments, like you could buy a guitar on Timu, but I wouldn't recommend buying anything from this website for a lot of reasons we'll get into today, but the first one being that the number one complaint from customers is that their products never show up. I'm gonna use the Natasha Denona concealer again. If you missed Monday's video, I was testing new makeup and you saw me use this for the first time and this is the second time I'm using it and so far I really like it. I felt like the whole day it wore really well and I was like out all day in the sun and it looked perfect by the time I got home. But so many customers have shared that their products either never arrived or when their packages did arrive, they were not the products that they ordered. And they also, I've, I've read complaints about um, credit card charges outside of their orders on their site. And then a common experience for those that have run into this issue is not being able to contact Timu trying to resolve while they're trying to resolve this. So Timu is often pretty unresponsive when people reach out that their products never arrived or they received the wrong product. And a lot of people just never get what they're ordering. In addition to not delivering a lot of orders, Timu also steals photos and posts them on their own website as their own original products. And this is not exclusive to Timu. A lot of super affordable retailers do this and steal photos and steal designs from other companies. But I'm going to leave a video linked down below from my friend Leah where she goes into depth about how they stole her photos from a boutique that she works at where she was modeling some of the clothing for the boutique of their original designs and then Timu posted them on their website as an item that they're selling, but it's the original design of this boutique. It's not their photos. And as I was saying earlier, so many creators, myself included, get emailed from them daily. So Leah said when they were emailing her, she responded and said, no, I don't want to do a video with you, but can you take down my photos from your website? And they told her they would take them down if she filmed a video with them. And she's like, well, no, I'm not going to do that. So um, she said in the video, like I said, I'm going to link it down below. I recommend watching it. But she mentioned that 
Her company has been contacting them, trying to get the photos down. They won't take them down. So they don't deliver products to a lot of people. They steal photos and original work from other companies. And you're probably thinking, why are people promoting this brand? I don't typically like to call creators out by name, but in this circumstance, I want, I'm going to. I just saw a video go up, but it was because I'm prepping for this. I was like looking at content related to Timu and James Charles just did a sponsored video from them raving about their products. And it was a big part of the push for me to make this video because I had it on my two film list, but I was like, you know what? I want to talk a little bit more about this company. I'm disappointed to see a creator of his size, plus a lot of other creators promoting uh, this company. And as I said, it's a very new brand. So there's not much I can reference to. And it's hard to know much about this company just because they were only started in September. So I'm trying to be really cautious of my wording here. But generally, it is almost impossible to ethically produce these type of products and to sell them for such low prices. So not only is that a concern, people are spending money and not receiving their products. And I actually did a video last year. I'm going in with the, you guys know, you already know, it's the Fenty bronzer. But I, I did a video last year about She Glam and kind of sharing some of my concerns about that company. And that is the makeup brand that's part of Shein. Which she and we will be talking about in this video as well because they are also part of this story, sort of. But I had a video go up last year that I'm going to link down below where I talked about some of my concerns with She Glam. And for me, I think of this kind of similarly, so I will have that one linked. But um, another reason we're really seeing this company explode, not only because a lot of creators are promoting it, but also because people that are not content creators are promoting this brand because they are incentivized to do it as well. So uh, Timu has a program that I think of similarly to an MLM. They're not an MLM, but when you purchase products and you get your friends to sign up and buy products, you are then rewarded and you get credits to then go and buy more products. So there's that incentive there already for even an average shopper that's not necessarily someone on the internet to then still go share their experience, whether that's with their friends in their personal life or on an app like TikTok. And that's where we're seeing this brand really blow up, even from people that don't really do content creation full-time, but are still kind of sharing their Timu hauls. And actually going back to Shein, they're trying to sue Timu right now. They've accused them of contracting social media influencers to make false and deceptive statements against Shein in favor of Timu. So we will watch how that plays out, but that's something I've even seen on my own For You page of people comparing the two retailers. And uh, they're incredibly similar, obviously, and Timu actually seems to be even cheaper, like I said. Even though we don't know much about Timu yet because they've exploded so quickly, we do know a bit more about their sister company, which is a Chinese brand called Pinduo Duo. Now they've been around a bit longer, but they are run in a similar manner where they kind of cut out the middleman and sell products directly to keep costs down and keep their products a bit more affordable. But they've actually been also relatively controversial over the years in part for selling counterfeit goods. A few years back, they had to close over a thousand stores and remove over 4 million listings that were counterfeit goods. They've also had multiple employees pass away, unfortunately, in work-related deaths. And they were the brand that started Timu. So I don't doubt that this company will continue to rise incredibly quickly in a similar manner to what we've seen from Shein. And I don't know about you, but they have been all over my For You page, all over my YouTube homepage. And that could be in part that I've been prepping for this video. So the algorithm has just been feeding me a lot of that content. But I want to dive a little bit more into another big concern that I have with this and that it's, it's just leading to overconsumption in general. And it's not just Timu and I'm guilty of 
over consuming myself and it's something I'm always trying to be more conscious and aware of. But I, I really think when you're selling a product for such a low price point, it is so appealing to buy a ton of it. And that's what uh, Timu wants you to do. That's why they say shop like a billionaire. They want you to just throw everything in your cart without really thinking, you know, do I need this? Is this going to be more clutter in my life? Is this going to be a high quality product that'll hold up? Who knows? Will you even receive the product? Also, who knows? And I think so often these super affordable sites lead to us buying things that maybe we wouldn't buy otherwise. And I think there's a lot of nuance to the conversation about trying to shop ethically and avoiding fast fashion, especially when we consider that we all live under a different budget and what is accessible and doable for one person is not going to be the case for everyone. And I always wanna be aware of that, but that's not really what I'm critiquing in this conversation. I'm not critiquing someone that's shopping fast fashion because that's what is available to them. I'm critiquing over consuming because we can and because things are incredibly affordably priced and, I, and that kind of brings me to my, my dislike of the phrase, there is no ethical consumption under capitalism. Because while it is a true statement, yes, I think it is so often used to excuse us from even trying. Especially when I'm making this critique, I'm visualizing, you know, going back to Shein, even though we're talking about Timu, but I'm, I'm thinking of them similarly. I'm visualizing these hauls that I see on TikTok, on YouTube, where someone says, here's my $600 Shein haul, and they're dumping out bags and bags of clothing that Will they even wear some of these outfits? Probably not. And I'm thinking, okay, wait, if you had $600 to spend on this, you could have gotten just a few very well-produced products that will hold up for years that are ethically produced for the same price. But that's what these super cheap retailers allow us to do is just buy everything because we can, we can shop like a billionaire. And you know, my purpose in making this video is not to shame anyone from shopping on this site or similar retailers, but as Timu is growing so rapidly, I really wanted to at least address and kind of open this conversation. Oh, also I found this so funny when I was on their website getting ready for this video, under their who we are or like about us section on their website, they say that their values include being socially responsible and doing good in the world, which Kind of made me laugh. I mentioned this in Monday's video too, but my mascara combo lately, and I'm not normally like a mascara combo gal, but lately I have been. So I've been doing this ColourPop one there, level up the brown as like step one, and then taking the e.l.f. roller lash also in the brown and using that to kind of separate them out a little more, add some length, but also lock it in because this one for me doesn't transfer. And then they just look like really defined, but still fluffy and natural, like before and after, look at that. And then I think I'm just gonna do lip liner and this is Almond from Persona. I am definitely interested to hear and to read your comments from this video. Let me know your thoughts and I will go ahead and see you in my next video. Bye.